Well, we're putting all this out here right now. And yeah, we're still in black and white. Got the new camera set up. I want to show you guys that out, but you know, it's it's kind of hard to focus with uh, Eric's arm, you know, in the middle of the shot here. So let's see if I can. Oh, yeah, there we go. We got color. And we got foe. Oh, oh boy, that's uh, a pretty clear. Little overexposed. Um, I'll have to work on that, you guys. But welcome to JD in the Sump Sea. Um, I got this, you guys. Um, looks pretty clear. This video, of course, is called Happy Mistakes, and we'll get into that a little bit later. But uh, wow, did I end up having a really good time with this one towards the end. So thanks so much. For, uh, for stopping by and welcome to another episode of So here they are and as you can see the, uh, the paint's peeling off the magnets now I sanded the magnets down and everything and Nothing seems to be sticking to them except, of course, other magnets. Found out later that they're two pound magnets, so might have been a little much. But needless to say, we're going to get around this. The new gun is able to shoot varnish straight through that sucker. Tinted it with some inks. We're going to put her on in there. Like I said, I'm not mixing it in the cup anymore. I'm mixing it in a separate reservoir. And we are going to... Oh, very exciting how all this stuff works. I wanted to make sure that I kept the color um, somewhat close. Um, this gray um, doesn't have any blue in it. And that was planned. Uh, for when the oil stage comes up, which you'll see. Um, Eric's mat, if I remember correctly, had quite a bit of blue into it. So now we're going to be firing different colors to this gun. Um, you can uh, see this as it goes. Um, I'll get back to you when we get to the next stage. I wanted to get in on this next part because um, see the beating that was what was happening because that other gun wasn't firing correctly um, and I think something to do with the magnets still get a little bit of beating which is why I think the magnets have something to do with it 
but um, the control I'm getting with this new Iowata is something else. Um, still a little bit there. I can live with it. Um, like I said, we're going to be making it up on the oils because while I didn't put any texture on, um, I am going to be adding the texture look with the oils. Um, so we're going to go back to spraying here. Okay, so now we're going to do a little bit of brushwork here. Contrast some pretty primary colors um, just to break things up a little bit. Um, I always like it for composition on the piece. Um, draws the eye away from mistakes, really. Um, and contrast paint's the easiest way to paint this much terrain very quickly. Um, yeah. Gives a little bit of static look, too. I always like Militarum Green, um, but the blues and the reds are going to be for other junctures on this stuff. Um, once again, really started to get excited about this project again, um, putting all the little details. You'd be amazed at how many it seems, but they go pretty quick because they are pretty fast and you don't necessarily have to be very neat. Um, you know, being neater helps and everything, but you know, with a project this big, you, you want to get it done. Um, so, you know, you give and take a little bit. Yeah, here we go with the, uh, just a little bit of leakage out of the pipes. Um, I wanted to have a little plasma look and do some of the screens and things. Um, all right, well, I'll get back to you in a second again. So now we're going to be doing some chipping uh, with those two metallics and some sponging. Um, really excited that I added this this to my repertoire of, of uh, terrain making or terrain painting skills. Um, it's silly easy. Um, now I'm using a natural sponge in this one, um, but you can use pretty much any kind of sponge that you want. It wouldn't make that much of a difference. Um, well, I mean, it will make a big di a, a, a difference, but not so much that it wouldn't be the effect that you want. But yeah, you go from the Castellix, then the silver on top. Um, real little bits of paint, real fast. Um, yeah. We're going to be doing the oils next, um, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now the mixture of oils, um, I did it a little differently on each one of the pieces. Some of it I just mixed up and brushed on like this and then flooded it. Um, I did just a little bit of sponge work. Uh, you know, I think all of you remember how much I absolutely love hazard stripes, but when I put that yellow on the band a little earlier, I was like, well, okay, I'm stuck now. I gotta do some. Um, but yeah, this is very light dabs, a very large amount of saturation for the, the, uh, the natural drip effect. Um, couple of different ways I could have gone with this, you know, obviously dry brushing comes to mind, but um, I, I really, you know, there's not a lot of detail on any of these pieces, even though they're really cool and everything. But, um, you know, I, I wanted to just add as much definition as I could, you know, to it, you know, without adding extras, you know, they, Eric didn't want textures on this, so I've got to paint them on. Um, so I'm going to be using every possible way that I can, and oils is one of the easiest way to do it. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit 
off on my exposure on this shot. This is the new camera again. Um, but yeah, like with this piece, you know, we just brushed a thin amount on and let it get on and then just kept saturating the piece um, and then just wipe off the top spots. Uh, you know, it, it's like I said, I think I did pretty much every one of these pieces just a little bit differently. Um, this was a lot of spirits and oil paint. Um, this took a couple of days uh, for this this all to get to a point where I could do the final spray on the arches. Um, yeah, you know, that's okay. You know, not a big deal. I was getting what I wanted finally. Um, you know, this has been quite a learning experience doing this, these pieces, but I'm glad Eric for sure thought it was really nice. Um, okay, so now with this one, we're putting almost straight oil paint on, very little spirits. And then we're gonna be saturating with a lot of flood. Um, I wanted these to be specifically a little bit more uh, grimed up and detailed. Um, yeah, you can see it just peeling off, but you can also see a little bit of that blue that I had in there, in that mix. Um, there's not a lot. Uh, Thalo blue does stain quite a bit though, and I know this, so you go over the top, a little bit of sponge there, you get a little shininess. Now, one of the things to remember when you, if you, you're ever going to do something like this, it does not look the same wet as it does dry. Um, the only way for me to explain that phenomenon to you is there, there really isn't any explanation. You have to walk through it. Um, <laughs> one of the reasons why a lot of people don't like using oil paints is because there is a certain point when you've manipulated it so much that you, know, you don't know what the end result's going to be. Um, I knew it was going to be a natural point. Um, here's the moment of truth of this, these guys, just to see if that varnish worked. Oh, sure enough, it did. But yeah, this is real quick. You can see the blue coming out on this a little bit more, um, which is really nice. Um, it's gonna match with his mat, which you saw in the earlier shots, but in the final run, you'll see it again. And yeah, just a little bit. You know, it doesn't have to be pretty. I'm gonna do a spray on this anyways, afterwards, after the oil's all set. And well, oh no, here's the spray. And I wanted to do a two-toned. Um, I don't like using a straight orange ink. Um, so I like to get to orange using two different uh, colors. We got a crimson red here, and we're gonna go over it with a yellow. Um, and, you know, as much as I can do to put a little, little, uh, little character into these guys, which I think worked real well, I don't have the camera at the right angle again. <laughs> you can see it flood in real nice. Um, but yeah, here we go. We're up to the walkthrough now. Um, so excited about this, you guys. Um, and, and Eric was just, you know, all of these shots here are him setting it up, you know, at the end. Um, really excited. The camera upgrade. Oh, look at that upgrade. Got a smoke machine now. <laughs> <laughs> when I can get the lighting down, that effect's probably going to be a little better than it is on this one. But I'm still happy I was able to even pull it off for the first time. But yeah, this is the new camera. Um, I've got manual focus on things. Um, yeah. Oh, my God. Thank you guys so much for listening to me ramble and run through this. This was quite an interesting project. Turned out to be pretty heavy duty on my stuff. And, uh, but we, we worked our way through it. Once again, happy mistakes if you stick with it. Thanks so much, you guys. My goodness, look at how cool that looks. Ooh. Anyways, as always, if you like our stuff, Please like and subscribe.